This story is the opposite of now you see it, now you don't. This is because it simply wasn't there the last time you looked. Until Thursday night, January the 30th, as we came out of the brilliant new Mina Salmon underpass heading north towards Hid, I'm sure many of you noticed what looked like a steel bridge sitting off to the right. I guess you, like me, thought it was probably some internal walkway to the ships or something. The spot is where the big car transporter ships and passenger liners used to dock before they moved to the Khalifa bin Salman port. It's 122 meters long, it's 16 meters wide, it's 21.4 meters high. What is it? It's a steel bridge, a tied arch bridge to be exact, and it's here in Bahrain, next to the Naval Support Activities Unit here, and it's over a major highway linking the south of the island to the north in Hid. Now I did often wonder how the new section of the old naval support activities was to link to the old. I imagine months of traffic jams as a bridge was built across or tunnels run underneath, the latter not being a suitable option because too many important utilities such as water supplies etc lie under the road there. It was built off to one side of the major highway here which is next to the naval support activities unit and had they built this bridge across that highway, obviously it would have disrupted everything for many, many months indeed. So they didn't do that. They built the bridge off to the side, and if you look behind me now, you'll see some bogies. Those bogies are familiar to you because they are the same bogies, the very, very same bogies that transport the NASA Space Shuttle. They've shipped them in, and those bogies are now moving that bridge from one side to the other, and in a couple of hours, the whole bridge will be laid down and once again, you have a major highway opened up with no disruption. So this novel solution was born. A tied arch bridge was to be straddled across the main highway, joining what we can now perhaps call NSA-1 to NSA-2, which was separated by this six-lane major artery. And all of this was to be done overnight. In fact, can you imagine a lot of people in Bahrain will be getting up tomorrow morning, driving down this highway and saying, where did that come from? Mounted on the Sarens Group's self-propelled modular, multi-wheeled, low-profile bogies, the bridge started its move on Saturday evening at approximately 11.30 p.m. It was pretty much in place by 12 noon on Friday morning, a very delicate nudge-shift-move-slow-nudge-again procedure. In fact, the bogies have a top speed of around 5 meters per minute, which is quite fast if one considers the size of the structure over 5,500 metric tons, including the lifting beams, and all these bogies have to be synchronized. To onlookers, it was extremely hard to notice any movement at all, but if one looks away for a moment, then back, the bridge seems to loom bigger each time as it approaches you. With the main road closed for the night, the bridge kicked off, zigzagging into position for a straight run across the highway, a painfully slow, meticulous undertaking to ensure no stress on the structure. The project cost just under $8 million and down to the Naval Support Activities, or NSA as I mentioned. Built by Bahrain's JV contract NAS under the construction representatives, which is the US Army Corps of Engineers, who are always present on site. Not operational yet, but as of this sunny next day report, the project duration is 730 days, with completion by the 23rd of August 2014. That will be when vehicles such as electric carts and indeed emergency utilities, if necessary, will be able to go about their business unhindered from one side of the highway to the other. Partners for this project include the Port Authority, Bahrain's Works, Finance and Interior Ministries, plus the Electricity and Water Authority, along with the Bahrain Defence Force. Well, it's over 14 hours since the start of this operation to straddle a major highway with a big iron bridge. And as you can see, it's there, it's in place, but it's not quite on its foundations yet. The trolleys are still underneath and the jack's jacking it up, but it will be very soon. One thing though, the highway is open again and there is a bridge in place. So for we who traverse the bridge every single day, well, the bridge wasn't there yesterday, and look at these cars going underneath now. And I guarantee that most of those drivers are saying, huh, that wasn't there yesterday. This is Geg Hopkins for Bahrain Channel 55.